Welcome back, friends. When I was being left off, I was staring at a mug full of coffee and a freaking radio. I don't know. Take it. And do it. Got it. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows That's an old radio. <laughs> you should be able to carry it. More item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. What? Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated... If I leave, can I still hear it? Nope. Crap. We get this every year. I know it's exciting the big day is almost here, but... Can I go through here? Good. Good. I gotta look for a hole in a fence, apparently. <gasps> what was that? Oh, do you see that? That's a freaking manuscript, baby. Freaking manuscript. Focus, focus. I see it. How do I get there? Look at the clock. See what time it is? Eh? Me either. Like 12.15? Okay. Aha! Kick it. Hey -ya! Whoa! This guy is a badass. <laughs> Alright, manuscripts. You coming with me. Oh yeah, love her. The kidnapper Shh. fired his gun one last time. Pew. The shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. <laughs> See? <laughs> Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of what? Mother's Peak. The waterfall in the mountain behind us. The lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing. Force myself oh. to speak. He's talking it's about the thought of... Now. Where's yeah. my wife? Ah! I thought he was thinking about his wife and saying that he was Alice's driver's disgusted. license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Got it. <laughs> Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a It's kind of a long story, out. Barry. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm Hang on, I just found something. Calls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Listen to me, Barry. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's Just kidnappers. Just pull that lever and climb the ladder. You don't need to tell the sheriff anything. She'll never know. <laughs> this is probably where I have to come back to. Because there's definitely something happening. With that ladder, I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and call it right now. Call it the way it is. Any manuscripts over here? Nothing. What about over here? Nothing. What about up here? Dude, those cops would be so pissed. <laughs> uh, oh, none of them can even see me. That's tragic. Okay, go back and tell the cop you gotta go. <gasps> oh, I thought he was dead. Yes! Yes! Shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. Marvelous, Sarah. I just ah. wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Uh oh, cinematic. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Tell me more about the well, Anderson brothers. We still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. Dude, that you should tell funny. her you live on, in the middle of the lake. Neil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Deal. Did you talk to my wife? Oh, no. I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set uh -oh. something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, not what you want to do. Not what you want to do in front of the cop. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? Barry. I'm Barry Wheeler. His agent? What a tool. <laughs> if you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk mm. to me. 
You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. You tell them, Barry. No, I'm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. My offer still stands. You're not gonna be standing for long if you don't shut your mouth. That's what I would have said. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Listen. I'm kind of a big deal. I, I, I do what I want, someone. Barry. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, <laughs> but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, Typical. even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. Do it's you really good. drive a bright yellow truck? It's the absolute opposite of good. This guy is totally a freaking an agent. Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. <laughs> He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great <laughs> to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Ha! <laughs> what a creep. Who's Max? Sounds like a dog. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Oh, yeah? And she was very helpful I got Barry. Barry, I'm stuck. Seriously, Al. Oh, what you Barry. were saying in the car? No. Just listen to oh, yourself. Barry. You Dumb. shot a guy God. and his body just disappeared? Well, stranger things have happened, Barry. I'm a writer. Writers live very interesting lives. Filled with drugs, women, Satan, alcohol. That's probably drugs. Oh, hey. The skeleton of Colombian mammoth, Mammothus columbi. This specimen... Estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pitch in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998, where the Columbian Mammoth became Washington State fossil named Bucktooth Charlie and has since become the park's official mascot. Interesting. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Barry? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. And I'm not gonna lie. What it sounds like I've been drinking coffee. Like don't get me wrong, it's a good story, and be a bestseller. not just any when coffee. you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Will you let me finish? Wait here. I've been drinking coffee, and I just, I find it everywhere, and I can't even help myself. And I don't even know who makes it, or what's in it. Watch this, I'm about to do it again. Oh, that's good, Barry. I don't know where it comes from or who makes it, I just, I drink it. And sometimes, I kind of think that somebody's keeping count. Of all the coffee that I drink, it's the craziest thing. But, you know, when you're facing shadow people and your wife is missing and you're reading books that you don't remember writing that have your name on them, things like that kind of tend to take a back seat. You know, stranger coffee. That's all I'm trying to say. There could be cocaine in it. There could be... Oh, it is a dog. Be right back, Barry. I'm going to go talk to this dog. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Oh, no. Hey, Rusty, right? You write cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Oh. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Do I get to take the dog? Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? Yes. It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, <laughs> oh, sure. They call him Bucktooth Charlie. You can't just go Shut your mouth, Barry. Kidnapper. Barry. Those situations always end up in disaster. I'll do what I want. You gotta talk to the cops. I'll talk to who I She's want. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? Jeez, Perry, I'm gonna get a new agent. You have terrible fashion sense, a bright yellow car, and you're kind of creeping on the, the ladies. You wanted. And here are the keys. Thanks. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Oh Glad no. Here. Did Thanks. Max get caught in the bear trap? To get to Lover's Peak? Oh sure, it's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Why is there a bear trap chained down to the patio? Just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Aha! Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. 
I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I yeah. just don't want any trouble. Yeah, sometimes right. people Thanks. make mistakes, especially, you know, with rusty traps that blend into the ground. Okay. So, that that can't be the trap that Max stepped on because it's chained to the patio. Why is there a bear trap on a patio out here right next to a chair? <laughs> that is an accident waiting to happen. Max knows. I'd gotten what I'd come for. It was time to go. Thanks for the tip, buddy. It's letting me know that I'm I'm not accomplishing anything. All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Subscription buttons at the top of the next episode's in the top right. Hope to see you there because uh, I've got some keys. Oh, oh, shut up, Barry. I'm pausing. I'm pausing. Until then. Ho-ho.